Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, Covina Pro Trading Partners along with Bob Iaccino. Not much really going on in the crypto space. Lots of things are having resistance against their daily rotation zone, which we've talked about. Bitcoin coming up 86.27 level, just spiking slightly above it before pulling back. Divergence up there, so we had a higher high in price action, lower high in the RSI. Let us watch for the bigger pullback. Catching on the bottom of the rotation zone now, we are being cautious. We really need to see this get and close back up above at least the 8440 level and nice rotation back up uh this actually pulled back a bit more and is not acting with a lot of strength this yet so we're still in cautious mode neutral to slightly bearish mode because we're against the rotation zone on the daily so you see here we talked about it on our last update to really watch at this 8627 level where the you got the declining 21 the gain level and slightly above their 86.53 so that was a pretty major cluster we pulled up there and now dropping back down now we have weakness below the 8 ema so we're gonna have to see if this can really get some strength and move back up if we do get through there then we're watching for 87.05 okay so we're being patient rotation zone against us on the daily but with us on the four hour but it's not acting strong on the four hour see here on the four hour this is flattening out we we really need to get a nice strong push back up and that will peak our interest again so bitcoin cash remember i said we didn't know last update if this would be the final thing and i hope you everyone updated it because this was not the final bar this was the bar that gave us the top pullback so you should have updated your gain levels to there just making sure you're following along. Now we've come back down. This did not catch on the rotation zone. Instead, it came back down. Remember the horizontal channel. So this was resistance, resistance, resistance. Now it's support. And it's not a hard single line. This is a zone. Okay, so you watch it as a zone. So this came down to the zone. It also came down to this prior low, which was testing that key area. Rotation zone flat. Rotating back up. We need to see some more strength come in. This was pretty weak here if it does not hold really about this 1200 level then watch for a return to the bottom of this zone about 1150 and then if that's broken we still have the same downside targets now on a rally first major area of resistance is 1285 then we're looking to the new gain levels a return to 1312 which was the most recent swing high 1335 then 1338 this is just not acting really strong could not hold the rotation zone rotation zone flat so just like Bitcoin, not a lot of strength coming in. So again, it's being cautious. See, it did try to poke up into the uh, rotation zone. Didn't even get as high as the 21 and now pulling back rather strongly. So if we get do get above that 1312, this 1335 level is going to be key because we got the declining 21 top of the rotation zone and the gain level. So we have a really strong cluster there. So make sure you don't ignore that level. Then 1358. Again, if we can't hold this, then watch for that 1150 area return to this bottom horizontal channel area, which was very present on the four hour. So that's really all we have for you on Bitcoin Cash. Again, things are quiet. We got to get above these rotation zones on the daily before we're going to get more aggressive and look for more aggressive entries. Checking in on Bitcoin Gold, which we haven't done in a while. It finally got above the daily rotation zone, holding there could not really sustain a push up here and then collapsing back down uh to a prior key gain level this 5178 if this does not hold then watch for a return to the lows you got the rotation zone against it rallying back up we would be looking at 6080 and then a return if we got through that to 6551 on the daily chart that's key resistance nothing exciting until this can get above the rotation zone and start sustaining something there's just a lot of weakness we asked this question you know what's our long-term outlook on this should should somebody even bother holding it don't know your reasons for holding it and again we're just trading it from a technical perspective i'd be very light in it now uh just because it can't get any traction you can always add back in again as it was rallying that's when you start unwinding and once you got the rotation zone against you this is how we look at it this is just true for any crypto so when the four hour and the daily rotation zones are in your favor that's when you're aggressive and you add 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 and then you start taking them off especially as you get to the higher levels the higher projections and divergences and then you move up your stop if it comes down and stops you out 
or some of you some of it out you don't get stopped out of everything you but you start reducing your position once the rotation zone goes against you every rally in the rotation zone you're just unwinding unwinding to look to put it back on lower and you lighten up until you get to a really nice bottoming position there was a bottoming position back here earlier in the beginning of april that triggered which, you know, that was a nice aggressive entry that caught on the rotation zone a couple times, but then rotation zones backed against it. Again, that's why we talk about moving up stops and then lightening up when the rotation zone's against you because it can just continue to languish or move down. There's no clear signs that uh, Bitcoin Gold is doing anything anytime soon. We're going to have to let the price action uh, speak for itself. We're just not very excited about it. That's why we don't cover it much because there's there's not a lot of good price action. It's just sort of languishing. It can't sustain a rally. So it's it's up to you if you want to hold it long term to see if it gets some traction. And uh, but I would not be heavy in it until things start getting in our favor and it starts getting some momentum, which we clearly don't have yet. But again, I cannot give individual advice. We, nor Pat Trading Partners, nor I can give any individual advice due to long-term investments because we don't know your position. We don't know what you're doing. What we suggest is keeping things light when the rotation zone is against you on the four hour and the daily. And then you can be a little more aggressive when things are going in your favor. Again, you want to trade with the trend right now. In a lot of these cryptos, the trend is still down. So, you, you know, that's how you have to look at things. When trends against you, you should be lightening up. You should not be trying to buy every dip. You should wait for the high probability patterns. And then we just have to see, will some of these cryptos go away? Yes. Do we know if Bitcoin gold is going away? No, we don't. I mean, going away, I mean, just going to just dwindle to nothing. But there's there's hundreds of these things. And of the majority of them, we think long term will go away. Does not mean they're not tradable. Does not mean, we you know, we try to focus on some of the top 15 in market cap because those are more likely to stay around and they provide the better trading opportunities bitcoin gold has dropped out of those that's why we're really not that focused on it anymore hope that helps by the way there is a slight divergence here on the daily uh daily pattern so we have a lower low in price slightly lower higher low in the rsi so we're gonna have to see if this can get some traction above the rotation zone that's about it sorry for the long rant on or ramble on bitcoin gold and we'll talk to everyone soon bye for now